Hey guys, Anthony here from the Faculty of Apps and today we'll be removing unwanted people and objects from our photos. And the good news is that you don't need any additional software to do this. All you need to do is open your photo in the Photos app. If your pictures aren't yet in the Photos app, you can import them simply by clicking on File and Import or by pressing Command, Shift and I on your keyboard. Having selected the photos, press Review for Import. You then have the opportunity to add them to an album, but for this demonstration we'll quickly skip ahead and click Import. Now that our pictures are in the Photos app, it's simply a matter of choosing the one you wish to fix up and clicking on the Edit button here at the top of the window. This brings up all sorts of options to adjust the lighting and levels of your photo, but the option we'll be using is called Retouch. Select this brush icon and you can then use this sliding scale to adjust the size of your brush. I'll be removing this guy who is leading the camels and you can see that my brush is a little bit big. So I'll reduce the size slightly and then it's just a matter of clicking and dragging to paint over the person or object you wish to remove. So I'll paint over this guy and also the rope that he's using to lead the camels. When you're done, release your mouse button and the object will disappear. If you want to be more accurate, you can of course zoom into your photo, either by pinching outwards on your trackpad or by pressing Command and Plus on your keyboard. A few taps of the brush on the area is usually all that's needed to make additional slight adjustments. If you think you've overdone it, Command and Z to undo or you can cancel all your changes at once by clicking on Revert to Original up here in the menu. When you're happy, click Done to save your changes. Some photos work better than others. For example, I want to remove this guy in the background. So I'll do the same again. Click on the retouch brush, set the size of my brush, and then just paint over the personal object. You might find there's a slight delay while the app works out how to replace the object with the background, but most of the time it's pretty quick. Some photos, however, it does struggle with. Here, for example, I want to try and remove some of the boats, and you can see that it leaves behind a bit of a smudge where the boats used to be. Sometimes it's just a matter of trial and error, but on the whole, I think it does a pretty good job for a free tool. There are, of course, alternative apps on the Mac App Store, but the ones that seem to rate highly tend to be quite expensive. So that is how to remove unwanted people and objects from your photos. If you found the video useful, I'd appreciate you giving me a like and hitting subscribe for lots more quick tips on all your Apple devices. And here's a quick guide to using the new standby mode on your iPhone and a quick way to install Google Drive on your Mac. Until next time, my name is Anthony. Thank you very much for watching.